Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got another unboxing review for you for the Mova Globes. This time, it tells you don't place in direct sunlight. Well, we knew that one from Bonds before. This time, it's actually the Jupiter planet. I wanted the bigger Jupiter Saturn ones to have the larger ones because these are under the four and a half inch. I wanted the big nine inch globes, but I can't afford them. They are ridiculously expensive, but they are so good to see. But I'll show you the outside of the boxes to start with. Show you the front. On this way, it just shows you a nice little map of the of the globe. There's no um, yeah, there's no writing on that one, but there is on the America, and there is on the Africa Europe. Quite weird. Well, South America. There's nothing on Europe at all, or until you get to there. Hmm. Okay. And the bottom shows you MG45 Jupiter contains Jupiter globe. Three prongs, prong stand and user manual made in China. So let's get this open. First of all, we see the user manual, an individually numbered. Shows you a disclaimer, how to place, where to place your globe, how to use, a few suggestions, frequent last questions and warranty statement. So just normal, usual bump. Please don't boil it. Please don't set it on fire. Please don't place in direct sunlight. Please don't eat. Usual stuff that if you're not, you haven't got any common sense at all, you will have no idea. But there we have it. They're actually from Santa Fe Springs. Cool, in California, IA. Turtle Tech Design. So what I actually have on this one, is the first one I've got, is with the product registration. Completely empty, I've not filled it in. Welcome to the Mova family. So, standard stand as usual. They do a different stand, they actually do a wooden, like a wooden arch with a, with a, a cutout in which the globe will sit on. But with standard, you'll get a plastic three-pronged stand to put your globe on and lots of nice polystyrene, really nice soft polystyrene, plastic, which will, it will last because you're gonna to want to, to keep these packaged if you ever move, and these are absolutely brilliant, better than the, the horrible, ugh, squeaky polystyrene. So, let's get Jupiter out. It's a standard line, you can barely see on this one, it's quite good. Fingerprint on top of there. You do have, you should have a hole on here where they put the oil, which is kind of there. But this is the top section, top view down of Jupiter. This is gas giant, tons and tons of rings, well, bands of hydrogen, helium, which you can't really, there you go, you can tell there. There's actually the red spot, which is going past here now, which you can hardly barely see. But apparently that is, that is, I think it's three times the size of Earth. The actual, it's a big, massive tornado powered by a lot of other massive tornadoes. But apparently that will not be around forever. It will eventually change, burn itself out, go into something else. But it's quite surprising. You see all these little circles, which look like craters, but they're all tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever it is. Just... It's a massive ball of what should be on fire. The gases churning around it is absolutely fascinating, Jupiter. I mean, from the top view, for what you can see, you can't see that much. You've just got the northern part. There's nothing much. You can tell it looks like a lot of craters, but it's not. It's the weather, weather system on top. The more belts and the bands you can see on the side down here, which you will see in, the, in a few moments anyway, when I stick it over to the, to the bench and show you this from a side angle. But I'm just going to show you the most, most with the Mover Globes anyway. They're all like a gyroscope with a solar panel. They will work on solar, solar. With the light I've got works perfectly fine. This has turned around quite nicely. But... It's the, obviously the two hemispheres of a plastic globe surrounding 
the inner workings, well, the outer covering with the inner workings inside. I don't have one of these cut up. I will never cut one up. There are pictures available online of, of the inner workings of these. And I really will never do that because these are so precious. They're ridiculous. They're quite sturdy and resilient, but I wouldn't throw one. <laughs> I wouldn't throw one or try and drop one on the floor. I mean, maybe try and keep out of hands of children, but when you do that in front of a kid, the ball just doesn't move, but your hand goes round it. It fascinates them. It's absolutely brilliant. And I love these because you can do a little bit of a magic trick on them. It still stays upright, but it is an outer ball, an outer clear ball, which does move around. You can see certain bits that I'm moving, and that's the, the polishing effect on there between the two hemispheres. But let me get you on this on a stand so you can see it better. I mean, Jupiter, like I said, is, is a massive gas giant. It would have been better for scale-wise with the rest of the with the rest of the set, which I don't have the full set yet. Morva, please send me some if you wouldn't mind. If not, well, yeah, I still love you anyway. But it would have been nice to have these a bit bigger. But the four and a half inch globes, which this is, they go up to I think there's a six and then there's the nine. But it's just, it's far too small in scale. Because if this is the Earth size, Jupiter would have to be, oh, I don't know, about a mile, a globe of about a mile wide to be in proper scale, which that's just insane. So to have four and a half inch globes in a display cabinet showing just casually spinning around quite nicely, it's, it's so relaxing to watch. I love seeing them but you want to see the rest of this so let's get it over there on the stand and the camera pointing in the right direction so you can see all these these gorgeous belts of all the gas and the, the weather patterns so let's get it over there now and see what you think and there's jupiter spinning nice casually around all the belts it's absolutely amazing that the, the detail work and the and this is a completely natural planet. It baffles me how something like this could actually exist. There's blues, there's reds, orange, big red spot there coming through. Fascinates me how you just the weather patterns, the gases are swirling around and it's the size of it is. It's ridiculous, mind boggling. And get you in a little bit closer, see some more detail. In a big spot. It's almost like a painting. Amazing how something like this exists. Just fascinates me. Plus the Demover Globe is quite good as well. <laughs> yeah, I could just watch this for hours. Coming around again with this big red spot. Three times the size of the Earth, I think, or is it five? I think it's probably three times. I was fascinated with Jupiter, Jupiter when you, I watched 2001 and 2010 Space Odyssey, the Odyssey, Odyssey Clock, well, films, but made from the Odyssey Clock book. That's Jupiter eventually ignites into a sun, goes from a dead floating gas ball into another star. I mean, in theory, I suppose it's too small, but it's in theory with it got gases, helium and hydrogen. Then why wouldn't it? There's, a, there's a, some sort of possibility, I suppose. But yeah, it's an absolutely fascinating world to look at. Completely alien to what we are. But it is one of the 
essential parts of life on this planet. If this wasn't here, just vacuuming up all of the little bits of debris and asteroids and all sorts of stuff, they could have gone into the inner planets and they could have crashed into us on a on a daily, weekly, yearly basis and we would have never have known life on this planet. So with this tech in it's the orbit it does just protects us from things we never knew. Amazing. So let me get this back onto the bench. One quick last look at it. Once the spot comes around again. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It amazes me with these these globes. But the planet, the detail work is, is just phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. These these just they, they fascinate me how they just spin and they just they're, they're an amazing ornament. They're expensive ornament, but they're well worth just for staring. Just for like it's like having a fish tank. You're gonna watch the fishes just swim by and then come by again. And you, there's nothing you can do with them, probably maybe feed and whatever. But they just swim by and do their own thing, which is what these do, and they're absolutely fascinating to watch. So with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. I've got plenty of other videos on my channel, including a few more Mova Globe ones if you want to check them out. And please like, subscribe, the channel, the video, and I'll see you in another video, hopefully. Bye for now.